Proper support of brickwork at the base of the wall is very important. At times, as you see in this slide, an individual might be the second owner of a home, or if they've owned it for quite some time, they might want to change the exterior look of the home and add brick veneer. Perhaps in the beginning it was some sort of stucco or wood uh, sheathing or something. And if that's the case, there may not be a brick ledge at the base of the wall, since the original plan was not to brick the home. The question is, can you lag onto the side of poured walls, poured concrete walls, as you see in this slide, or a block foundation, can you lag angle irons on and carry the weight of brick and go ahead and veneer the house? Yes, you can. Code allows for you to do that. Obviously, it would need to be properly designed. One thing to keep in mind, though, is how you support the masonry, whether it be on the footing or on an angle iron or lentil of some sort. What you see here is called hogging out. Uh, you contractors have no doubt seen this many times from your masons. When there are step-ups in the side of a home and the foundation, sometimes you'll see uh, the brick layer turn brick in this fashion to get to some level point as quickly as they can. And then the course is above that, obviously. Each one above is level. They can go much quicker this way. But at times, they don't get it supported properly. And this is why. What you're looking at here, the light gray area on the left, represents the poured wall foundation. The darker gray sliver there on the right side is a recessed brick ledge a bit lower. Notice again how as the framing comes down, it begins to get further and further to the right. The brick layer comes on the job, very, very common practice. The house is square, the foundation was not. Thus it hangs over the top of the foundation a bit. In this particular example, a bit too far to pass or satisfy code. Notice how much of the brick is hanging off that brick ledge. That looks like a problem, and it is. Code says the minimum that the brick can hang off that brick ledge is one-third the thickness of the wall. So two-thirds would need to be on that brick ledge. But with the framing extending as it does out into the cavity that the brick layer would normally have, the only recourse he had was to set off that ledge. What he should do, though, is come along across the bottom of that, that first course and lag a steel angle on, as we saw in that earlier slide, to carry the weight of brick.